Okay. Next step in the agenda, school wages. I don't know which one is. You want to take one?
but you know we we out there we do our job we think we do the best this was our proposal and we expect it to be uh, approved discussion council let's uh Quite a raise, isn't it? From the automatic, you had to build in a 50 cent raise before, right? And 25. No, no, before was a 50 cent raise. Yes. Yeah, oh, per year. Per year. So now what you're saying is that 50, not only is it from, like, from year one to year two, they got a 50 cent raise, then they got another additional 50 cent raise, didn't they, on uh, April or whatever it was? I'd like to comment as to why that was brought about. Mm -hmm. um, let me back up here a minute. I'm not quite sure that everyone has a full understanding of what the lifeguards do down in the pool. Our lifeguards are a little bit different than some of the other community lifeguards. Um, so you can't really compare one pool to another. Our lifeguards are asked to come and help prepare the pool for the season. That is a lot of manual labor. They're chipping up cement. They are replacing cement. They're fixing PVC pipe. Um, but these lifeguards are learning things down there that they probably wouldn't mm -hmm. learn anywhere else. They're digging. Is this, is this work that if they're younger are supposed to be doing? You know, I'm not real up on that. That would be okay. the city administrator that would have to answer that for you. I don't know the child labor laws. What well, they're below 16. If they're younger 16, are they supposed to be checking up cement and things like that? I think they can. We require them to wear safety goggles and that type of thing. And Marlene did mention that to me, that they needed to be so that's protected. That's question because we can't hire anybody younger than 16 here for driving along or whatever on the city. Well, they're not using any heavy equipment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, scrapers no, and no, water, that type of thing. There's some different things like that that they're, they're said to break the cement and things like that. So. Well, we take, we take out the well, I'm not talking about the sledgehammer. I'm well, talking about a little pounder <laughs> right around like this with a scraper and a yeah. screwdriver. I'm not talking about a huge chunks of cement okay, here. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to clarify. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, it sounds like to me that they're doing big, heavy manual Yeah, labor. no, 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 no. They're, 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 the seams around the pool, the cement has to be chipped out every year. Mm -hmm. We take out all the bent night, repack it. Um, there's debris in there. The pool has to be scraped and pressure sprayed, all the bathrooms, everything. It's a mess down there. And I would welcome any one of you to come down there and help. Because I don't like snakes and I don't like dead animals. And there's usually a lot of them in the pool and in the pits. Um, we are the only pool that has lifeguards that do that. So you can't compare the wages of the lifeguards to another pool. Furthermore, our lifeguards are the only ones that are required to work in the concession stands. The other pools are not. Sac City does not. Breda does not. Boulder Bolt does not. Kings Point does not. The Lake does not. Um, and our lifeguards are required to come in every day and they scrub toilets and they clean bathrooms. They also have to pull pool tarps. Now, I'd like to see any two of you grown men go down there and try and pull a pool tarp by yourself. There's no way it can be done. These lifeguards are doing more than what you realize they're doing and more than what lifeguards in another community. These other communities don't have pull tarps that have to be pulled. And that is not an easy task at all. So I mean, these other communities have huge pools. That's right. No, that's right. That's right. So how many people did we have apply for these staff? We had 15. How many did we have apply? We had 15. For lifeguards? Yeah, there were 15 applicants this year. Nine. Nine of them. And you know, I think the other six would work for the former wage. That's you know, that's my only discussion on this. Is it's a it's an economic stand of supply and demand. You know. That's, I understand and that. We have, we have plenty of people that want the jobs. I would like to know what the council feels the difference between then these lifeguards that have gone above and beyond, gotten the training. You can't just be a lifeguard because you want to. You have to go and get the training. We are asking these kids to watch the children of the community. And believe me, those guards pull kids out of that water every single day. There is always somebody that goes in too deep. You might think they're sitting down there now. Before you go too far there, now do the lifeguards in any other pool do the same thing? Yes, they do. Okay, I'm just I'm not done with my point yet. Yeah, I want to clarify that. Okay. 